ho, 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 ho. We are talking global dominion. I mean, domains today. And I want to show you how you can start to use them right now and set yourself up for an amazing future. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, do the whole like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, uh, share it with your friends and family, all that stuff. If you want to support the channel and you want early access to this content, become a member for as little as $5 a month, you'll get early access to all my videos. Now, don't worry if you if you don't have five bucks, I feel you. I'm not going to put a paywall, at least I don't think I'm going to put a paywall around anything. Uh, so all this stuff will come out eventually, but if you want early access or support the channel, become a member. I really appreciate you guys. All right, let's talk global domains. Gosh, bless it. Where's my mouse? There we go. All right. Inside your domain, you're going to have many, many workspaces. This is not a workspace, uh, management strategy conversation. This is how do you like, what are we going to do for managing the, these domains? Right. Um, now, big thing, think of it like workspace organization, right? How are you going to organize the workspace across uh, your, your capacities, your tenants? You know, how are you going to do that? Now, I, I'm going to recommend that you follow your current organizational structures, all right? Now, there's two basic patterns that we're going to set up and talk about. One is a central team model, and this is your classic IT owns and runs everything. And two is this data mesh model where you're actually going to be like enabling different departments and teams in your organization to do more with data. Okay. Now, what do we mean? Okay. Central team is where all of the, the like data engineering, data analytics, data science is done in done by one team, right? So we're going to have one domain that's for that central team. We're going to call it the global domain. And I'm going to show you why in a, in a second. Okay. When we talk about data mesh, we're talking about enabling the different teams across your organization or the different organizations in your company to be able to do data engineering, analytics, data science capabilities. So we're talking, uh, <coughs> we're talking your finance team, your sales team, all of those different organizations. They may want to do some of these activities because they want to take ownership. They want to manage this stuff. And now those skill sets are more rampant than they've ever been. Okay. Now, I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to start inside a fabric, right? First things first, we're going to go over to the admin portal and we're going to scroll down to the admin portal and I'm going to head over to domains, okay? Now, you can see I've got domains right here. I'm going to uh, manage my content. Uh, like I said, I want to primarily be, be using my global domain is where my central items are going to be used. This is going to be my certified uh, data warehouse, my certified uh, data sets, uh, my, um, uh, my master data is all going to be in my global space, right? Because I want to have like tight governance and control around it. So that's all going to be managed inside of the, this, this global area. Okay. Um, uh, I'm also going to be starting to, because I don't have this fully yet in my organization, I have a few teams that are ready for to build out their own feeds. I've got sales, I've got marketing, and I've got IT that they're going to be building out and they're going to be doing their own data engineering, right? Sales, they make the money, so they, uh, they, they bring it in so that they're the ones who are going to be funding it. Same thing with marketing. They got money to, to like kind of like burn through, so I guess they're doing it. IT has just got a whole bunch of technical skills, so, you know, want them to have it. Now, one note, my sales team has uh, some security requirements because they've got some compensation stuff inside of it. So I'm going to create a subdomain for anything that's sales restricted, i.e. comp based, uh, because they want to wall that off from the rest of the sales. So I've got my sales parent domain as well as my subdomain created right here. Now, I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just because I'm doing new stuff doesn't mean the old stuff I have isn't any good. So I've got this nice legacy content that I'm going to be defining and, and, and walling stuff off. 
What that means is my central global content is only going to be the stuff that people should be currently using and supporting our current production space that's actively being built and managed and, and monitored. I'm not going to throw and just blindly delete stuff. So I'm going to move everything over, you know, like move over, over to legacy to make sure we don't lose anything. Okay. Now you say, Hey, Chris, this is all well and good. Okay. I followed you along. Uh, I see how you did, but how do you create it? simple right if i click on new domain i can easily just type in my new item so i'll call it finance and i'll d define my admins and i spelled my own name wrong today is not my typing day i gotta tell you that okay so we've, we've got that domain created i could see that down at the bottom here i go to settings on this domain now from here, I can put in some uh, descriptions of it. I can add in an image. Uh, let's see, finance, we'll do spreadsheets because, you know, oh no, we'll do like the accounting book there. There we go. This is gonna be the finance cover image. I'm gonna, def I've already defined the admins. Uh, I wanna define who the contributors are so that people who, you know, contributors are gonna be the people who can add stuff into this domain. Now, this is something you really do want to make sure you're uh, you're managing who can create a workspace and then assign it to a domain. So make sure you define that. And then talk about what users are going to have this as their default domain. This makes it really easy, especially if you're in an organization who's got tons and tons of stuff uh, to find the, the content that is most important to them. So it just defaults their view to include that, okay? Uh, but now that that's up, I can actually go into my workspaces over here. And if I look at the settings on any workspace, and I can access that through two ways. One, through this more options and workspace settings, or I can actually go into the workspace and choose that. You're gonna find that the, the domain is one of the first things that you can establish inside of a workspace. So the domain is right here. And from here, you can choose any of the uh, domains that have already been established. Please note, you cannot create one from here. So it's only, you can only create domains from the admin portal. So be very mindful of that, okay? Once that's done, uh, I click, I can select the item. When I go back, I can actually see like, hey, look at, at this, at the admin portal. I can actually see sales has four subdomains. That's interesting, I didn't know sales did. If I go into it, oh, look at this. I can see that there are, four subdomains, right? So we've actually, uh, we've got sales dev, test, sales end-to-end, -end, and default. Where's my sales security? Hmm. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that went. Um, we literally could see it in the other place. So, um, but, so I've got these different subdomains that I've already put in place, okay? And you can see that the subdomains look like little folders underneath the subdomain, so easy to, to access and understand where the content is. Oh, actually, no, sales restricted is its own separate domain. My bad. I could put it as a subdomain, but I, I want my access controls at this level. I forgot. My bad. Now, uh, I showed you how you could actually see that it's, uh, how you could set it. But now when you look over at your workspaces, you'll see that every workspace that's in a domain will have a little domain icon on it. Your goal your mission, should you choose to accept, is make sure that all of your workspaces have a domain on it. Like, oh my gosh, all of my workspaces have a domain on it. How amazing is that? <laughs> um, uh, that's fantastic, right? That shows that I've got it done. Where do you see this most? How does this impact you, you're asking? Well, inside One Lake, we've got the new One Lake catalog. And this, this uh, drop down will show you what do, what item, what domains are out there. So you can sit, sit on the default and see everything that's out there, or you could scroll in and look at IT or look at sales restricted and see just the handful of items that are available for you, okay? Now, this just makes finding content much, much easier for people to do so they could see and understand where the content is available, how they can access it. They can even, when you look at, uh, uh, when you look at a warehouse, you can actually go in and you can actually see the schema. 
you could see tables. No, I, I mean, uh, a data flow staging. That's not a good one. Uh, let's go look at AdventureWorks. That's probably better. Um, when I go and look at this, uh, or the lake house, come on now. But either, anyways, it, it gives you a much better organizational basis to get in and look at your information and look at your data. All right, are domains gonna be helpful in helping you organize your content? I sure as heck think so. I'm pretty excited about this. I, uh, I'm i happy. And hey, shout out to Daryl Lynch. Uh, he called me out for like pinning stuff uh, to try and like focus where I, what work I'm doing. No, 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 that's wrong. You should be doing it through, uh, through workspaces. That makes it much easier for you. Uh, but in the next video, I'm gonna show you the proper pinning strategy. As always, you have the best day ever. Oh. What am I doing? I'm ending the video. There's a button for that. I got a button somewhere. Push the button. All right. Hey, how are you doing? Is this hard? Are you intimidated? Is this difficult? Don't worry, I got you. Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on the little get help button or more information. Myself, one of my uh, partners, one of my other coworkers, we'll reach out to you. We'll get you the help that you need. Uh, but if you think you can do it, and I know you can, click on this video or maybe even this one to learn more about data and you can become your own data guy. That's right.